what if you're always alone yeah. and you feel lonely yeah and you you do the work but you still just feel lonely okay so it's beginning to dismantle the possibility of being alone like we i mean we wish we would be alone because the thing is at time like the loneliness is yeah. the disconnection to self Lonely is me not knowing, like literally feeling disconnected to all that is. When we are connected to be, being alone, we are connected to the divine. It's impossible to feel lonely when we are connected to the divine because we are connected to all that is. So what is the divine? What is the divine? And that's a very unique expression. Expression. I remember having this mm. connection, this communication with my mom one day, this conversation, she came to the, the States to visit me. And uh, <clears throat> I was at the time more and more vocal about my truth and which I knew was making her feel uncomfortable because she came from a um, reactive choice of disconnection from the divine for herself. Um, and mm. so, and had tried to prevent us from being connected to that divine. And here I am coming up and sharing the divine. <laughs> and so, of <laughs> course, you know, her reactivity was true. It's like she was trying to tell me um, that it was all, you know, a f fragment of my imagination, that it was not true, that it was, BS. right? Yeah. And so, and I was telling her, it's like, and everything is a fragment of your imagination, everything. It's just what, uh, how are you going to give it power and how are you going mm. to give it not power? And I said, if today my life is empowered and extraordinary because I choose to connect myself and give power to that fragment of imagination, in why is it that it's making you react? It's not my connection to the divine that is making you react. You're reacting to the fact that you're still angry at that connection within you. And why are you still holding that connection? It's because it defines you. Because through the connection of the divine, the way you, your narrative is, you personally believe that your father was taken away from you because God made a choice that was not yours. And he has defined your entire life through it. All the choices you've made afterwards, you've made it because of your anger. And your anger is still held within you today. And it's not going to just go away mm -hmm. because you say, go away. You're going to have to yeah. transmute that experience of anger for something greater. And for that, you're going to need to relinquish your narrative and be curious to explore the divine in a way you, you don't know what it is yet. And so it opened the door. Yeah. And today my mom mm -hmm. is connected to the divine in a loving way instead of in an anger way. No, I can <laughs> I can only imagine how that conversation went. Mm -hmm. I mean I mean I hope hopefully it went smoothly to a certain extent. No, that that conversation was I, animated yeah. of course because she was okay. in a reaction, yeah. of course. Um and my work was actually to be the wisdom it's like I don't react to the divine because that's not my experience. The divine is the safest place for me to be. <laughs>